Okay, one thing that I've been lacking in the past 18 months is new equipment, technology, knives, this, that, and other thing. Well, at one point I was busy with other shit in my life, you know, work, other bullshit. Another point is I didn't see anything I liked, didn't see anything I needed. You know, my two best Denali knives, my pocket knife, my fixed blade were so awesome that I haven't bought a knife in almost two years. No, over two years I haven't bought a knife. I'm sorry, over two years. But Gabby Frank will advertise a pistol tool from Primary Arms. Gabby is a employee-sponsored shooter of Primary Arms, and she does a lot of shit for them. Also, from Walter Arms. Now, this has several different things. It has barrel bushing for the officer. That's the officer. And that's the GI 1911. Even though I've never used the brow bushing, I don't think I, I don't ever use the brow bushing. Some custom 1911s, the brow bushing is very, very tight. My 1911, that um, uh, extended guide rod, when you pull it out, the plug has a hole in it. Most 1911 plugs are solid with some checkering on it. That has the hole for the. Um, uh, Secondary guy right to slide into and pushing that hole with your thumb is on the painful side. So I might be using that for that. Um, this is the punch. A lot of guys need punches for the Glock or other pistols that have to punch out this or punch out this pin. Retention pins mostly. Um, some ARs obviously have a retention pin. You could punch it out there also. I honestly don't think this is strong enough. I was thinking earlier, could I use this on my Ruger trigger guard? I don't think it's strong enough. But for small pistols, the Glock, that's a pistol punch. This is the handle, grip, we're going to call it. For the hex screws. Now I have an old tool screwdriver that I bought from Marlboro many many years ago. Yeah, Marlboro cigarettes many 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 years ago, over two decades ago. And it's like a pen, and you pull off one top screw bit, screw bit, screw bit. Yeah, hardly any grip on, it and it's getting all of a sudden to break. This would probably come in handy more for everything except guns because how many guys have guns that have actual screw bits on them a couple right some guys might have a special 1911 screw but this will be more of my halloween decorations and christmas decorations the things that light up or may play music and shit you just have to put batteries in them and a lot of battery, the um, compartment for the battery, you don't just have a tab. You have an actual screw to hold it in. And you should not be leaving your batteries in your decorations over the course of the year. Because batteries can leak and fuck up the inside of the battery well. Also, you may need that battery if your flashlight battery runs out or some shit. You have a flashlight or smoke detector or whatever the fuck you have and like, oh shit. I need to change the battery now, and I can't go to the store because it's in the middle of a blizzard. Okay, or I can't go to the store because we have a shit, it's the fan riding going on. So I got to go into my Halloween decorations in the attic, in the basement, or in my storage unit that's not in my, on my property, like I do, and get a battery out of my Halloween or Christmas decoration to put in my flashlight, my smoke detector, whatever. Okay, so take the batteries out of your decorations when they're not in use. Those batteries may come in handy elsewhere, and like I said, the leaking. And I'll probably use this for that more than anything else in the world. Okay. It's like a knife. The hinge here, push down. Okay. This also doubles as a hammer. Um, I have a small toy hammer that I got with a wood working set in junior high school and that little ass hammer is good for brads if you have like a cheap old piece of shit bookshelf or cheap old piece of shit 
DVR stand. There's some people piece of shit thing. The backing is like a, like a flake board, and you put on with, with nails, little tiny brads. They're called they're called brads. The little tiny nails. Or if I'm hanging up a picture, the nail at a 45 degree angle, and the picture hook, the little hammer. This is also a little hammer. I'll probably use this more for that than anything else, including knives and stuff. Now, the thing I really, really wanted in this was a scraper. This scraper is for um, rail channels. You know, you have a semi-automatic handgun. The rails, those rails on the inside get dirty as shit. And a lot of times you need a scraper. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. Okay. More on that in a second. Fuck. You need a scraper. And I I must use a hundred Q tips a year just scraping dirt out of the channel. So this channel tool is good enough for that. Now, one thing that I think is totally useless here, and I actually almost hit one out a minute ago, the Allen wrenches, Allen keys. Yeah, Allen keys. Um, Allen key, Allen wrench, whatever you call it, it is what it is. I've had a million of these over the course of the years. My 1911, the fulling guy rod, has an Allen key for it. My... 1911 grip screws have an allen key for them these allen keys are way too small and if you look and actually when i took it out of the package it was in like a cardboard back with a plastic bubble around you had to pull it off like yeah not a not you didn't get a case with it or even a nice little nice little, nice little knife box just plastic bubble over the cardboard pull it off one of these allen keys fell off on the floor yeah, these Allen keys are incredibly small, and this one here is about thinner than a, a friggin' sewing needle. Now, they say that some guys may have a red dot or a scope or, or some shit that you can induce, use, use to adjust to it, the, the, the dial or the knob, whatever you call it. Well, your red dot or your scope must be very, very small for this one to work on it, because I can't think of anything I've ever had an Allen key for my entire life that needed this. I mean, uh, maybe a dollhouse, or you know, like a little, like a little girl's dollhouse, or something very, very, very fine with a lot of fine detail in it and shit. Okay. And keep in mind, if you put this in your pocket or put it in your range bag, I'd be very careful about these. I don't know if they're gonna fall out or not. These, if they weren't included, I wouldn't even care one way or another. This, right here, the scraper, if you can see it's covering them, and that's a good thing, because once you loosen this up, it's, they're gonna fall out. One of them, a minute ago, you saw me toying with an off screen. This one here almost tilted out. So the scraper protects it. But also, when you, when you scrape your tool, if you scrape your gun, you take the sweeper off and you go like this and you're doing this a thousand times inside your Glock or your 1911, your Sigur, whatever gun you have, especially you guys that shoot 5,000 rounds a month at your gun and your gun looks like absolute dog shit and you got to scrape like a motherfucker to get it out of there. I'd be very careful with that scraping, especially if you're on the line doing it because this is really going to, they can fall out. Be careful of these. And one thing that it has, because reasons and stuff, left-handed people, left-handed. A three-inch long tanto blade, because reasons. Okay? It's got the little jimping on the, yeah. It's a blade, okay? This is not Chris Reeves. This is not cold steel. It's just a blade, okay? 
and it has the, the liner lock here. You take your thumb, your finger, and go. Okay. Now, one criticism. When I took it out of the package, it was shipped with this open. There is no reason for anything with a knife, multi-tool, pistol tool, any item that has a knife, there is no reason for the knife to be extended unless you have a fixed blade. And if it's a fixed blade, put it in a holster or a sheath of some kind or a case. You know, my mother has kitchen knives. I bought my mother a kitchen knife for Christmas, no, for her birthday last year. The kitchen knife had a plastic sheath on it. The Torinox, okay? Kitchen knives have plastic sheets over the blade. They have carb over the blade. They have bubble wrap over the blade. Blades should either be in a holster or wrapped in sheet wrap or wrapped in cardboard wrapped in plastic within bubble wrap. Or if it's a foldable blade, they should be folded. Because when I opened the package, I pulled it. And this blade was in right in my stomach. Now, thank God I pulled it open and it was just, you know, I didn't like rip it or, you know, I wasn't, hey, what's that? <laughs> okay, like you're distracted by something, you're looking around, yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a minute, rip. Okay, no, I was focusing on it because this blade actually came out and poked my stomach. Right there, poked my stomach. Obviously, didn't do any damage at all. It was just a, like a, like a, hold on a minute, like a, like that. But if I wasn't paying attention, I could have got a nasty cut. Okay, it's just a common thing. This, there's no reason for it to be shipped, not like this. It could have came in the package, just like that. The back of the packaging, which I took a picture before I threw in the garbage, has the point, has the directions on it, like this does that, this does that, this does this, this does that. Yeah, there wasn't, there, and it was also like a a printed instruction manual to show you what it is. So you have that, but there's no reason for that to be like that. But that's above all just a, just a thing. I just wanted to get something because yeah, I'd be Franco was sponsoring it and I spend so much time calling her short. I actually want to give her some support every once in a while. She's great, Gabby. She, she's absolutely great. She's hilarious. She's, she can take a good joke. She's a wonderful person. She really is. But I just thought it'd be a neat little thing to have. I really like this way because that's probably my favorite part of it because I go through a million Q-tips. Now, how long will the sweeper last? I don't know. There are hex bits here, so you could unscrew and replace them if they make replacement parts. I don't know. You gotta ask Prime Owners about that, but it's it's a good thing. It's a thing. Is it the greatest thing in the world? Probably not. There's probably a million guys out there, including Eric, my Iraq veteran, that probably have a million different cleaning tools and gunsmith tools and all this shit, and they just. I have a whole drawer full of shit or a whole collection of this and other thing. Okay. Extensive this, extensive that. But this is just put it in your pocket, put it in your range bag. Be mindful of the um uh, Allen keys, Allen wrenches. Or if just I need one little thing just for a couple of things on it, just because I have one or two guns to clean and I don't need to go out into the garage and get the trays of all this shit to come out in and all this little bullshit. So it's just a standard variety thing. If you're just getting into guns, if you just bought one gun, you might want to get one of these to start with. All right, thank you.